I have decided to do the second part. And before I even do, yes, I am going to do the disclaimer. Overall, I have nothing against these people. I have nothing against anyone. Unless it's a very personal thing. Anyways. The LGBT community. It has a major problem. First, it was simply the gay community. Not a problem. But then, for reasons that I frankly do not understand, gay was all of a sudden only restricted towards homosexual men and not women. So it became the gay and lesbian community. Again, not a problem. But then, you know, there are people who go both ways. They're not gay, they're not straight, they're not lesbians. They're bisexuals. Got to include them. Not a problem. And then it was the transgenders, people born of the wrong biological sex. I have no problem with this. If for no other reason, then the argument of there are only two biological genders and what you were born with is what you are stuck with, it's not that it's flawed, it's that it's blatantly wrong. If there are only two biological genders, where do hermaphrodites fit? All of the above. After that is when it became an absolute mess. It's gotten to the point where all a person has to do is decide they are part of this community for whatever reason they want to make up. And that's precisely what it is. They're making up reasons. And suddenly they're part of that community. And it's crumbling down. Let's be honest, it's crumbling down. Because there's no guideline. Anyone can join for whatever reason they decide. And it's creating a lot of confusion, not just for people who are not part of the community. Hell, I'm not part of the community, but I support it up to an extent. It's just creating confusion for everyone, including people inside the community. And it's getting absolutely ridiculous. Non-binary? BS. Pick one. Trans species. How is that even accepted? How can this community Seriously go, oh, you identify as a cat? By all means, come in. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. To the point where it is honestly not even about community anymore. It's about identity. People want to, <coughs> excuse me, everyone wants to have a unique identity. In my unhumble opinion, everyone naturally has a unique identity. There are a lot of common traits among other people, but everyone has a unique identity. The issue 
is when you start creating things that have an artificial unique identity like identifying as a different species like identifying as no gender whatsoever like identifying as a different race and or culture you are not doesn't matter what you say does not matter what you think does not matter what you believe the harsh reality is you are simply not if i had my way do you think i'd be <laughs> human there are many who say i am not some most jokingly A lot of them joking in a somewhat serious manner, but I am human. I don't get to identify as anything else. I don't get to identify as Jamaican. I don't get to identify as Korean. I don't get to identify as Ukrainian. That is not my heritage. That is not my culture. That is not who I am. It just simply is a reality of the situation. And the problem with the LGBT community which, let's be honest now, is no longer the LGBT community, it is the alphabet community, because they just keep adding mess after mess after mess, is that it is nothing about except people wanting to have a unique identity that is not their true identity. Also, just because it is an identity does not mean that is who you are. If you are a homosexual, transsexual, bisexual, that is who you are, but that is not your identity. I am a heterosexual man of primarily Scottish, Irish, and Scandinavian origin. I do not go around yelling out that I am a straight, kilt-wearing, whiskey-drinking Viking. It is part of my identity, but it is not just what I am. I am a lot more. You are a lot more. The people doing this are significantly more. It's just the harsh reality of it. So accept it. Any homosexuals, you are more than just what you are sexually attracted to. You are more than what you sexually identify as. Having that one single aspect of who you are and building your entire identity around it is going to bite you in the ass. It just is. You can be proud of it, by all means. You do not make that your one character trait. It creates boredom. If that is all you are, you are boring. 
say for example you have a hmm, doctor and all they do is talk about their work they might be very good at their job no one's going to want to talk to them at the reunion or at the party or ever that is just simply the way it is for everyone so don't do it yes don't do it for the sake of everyone else the hell with everyone else that's my attitude in life. I am who I am. You either like me or you don't. I don't care either way. And chances are, if you're not going to like me for who I am, I'm not going to like you either. So frankly, I see it being beneficial. But having only one, no one is going to truly like you. They are going to find you boring. Perhaps amusing, says the man in the cowboy hat, but boring. General advice for everyone involved, just specifically for the what is now, but hopefully it won't be for much longer, the alphabet community.